Who hides in the bathroom at parties? The party pooper. Today, I'm going to recap a 2021 action sci-fi film called Mosa. The story begins with a flashback that tells the story of a student named Yahia who lives his days as a college student. Ferez, a lecturer and head of the renowned robotics department, asked him to solve a problem because he was caught talking to his friend Rika in the middle of his class. Obviously, the problem was trivial for Yahia, and he then gave an answer in a different way from what he had been taught. Yahia then said that Ferris' formula was outdated, and the formula from the answer he wrote was much faster. Upon hearing this, Ferris was hurt and embarrassed. He then immediately kicked him out of the class and called him an idiot. Like most geniuses, Yahia has an introverted nature. He tends to stay away from the crowds and is very easily bullied by other students. Yahia's father, Saleh, is a retired engineer who now works as a watchmaker, while his mother has long since passed away. One night, Nasser, Salma's husband who worked as a housemaid in Saleh's house, came to Saleh's house, but Saleh immediately sent him away because Nasser had often committed domestic violence against Salma, and she had also already asked for protection from her parents. Nasser then left while holding back his anger. After that, Yahia took his father to the warehouse of their house, which he used as a place for him to conduct his research. He then showed his father his invention, a super sophisticated robot named Musa. Musa was named after his brother who died when he was just born. The Musa robot has been programmed and can be controlled by Yahia, only through the mind of his artificial VR that has been connected to the spinal cord. Instead of being amazed, Saleh thought the little robot was just a toy for children. A while later, while the two of them were having a relaxing time, Nasser came back with his accomplice and this time he brought a gun. Nasser's purpose in coming there was to get payback for Saleh's actions. Saleh was beaten badly and all his watches he made were stolen and his house was set on fire. Meanwhile, a fearful Yahia could only hide in the kitchen while carrying a knife. He didn't even dare to save his father, who was already lying in his house that had been burned down. A while later, the police and a fire brigade arrived, but unfortunately Saleh could not be saved. After the visit to his father's grave, Yahia intended to sell his house, except for the warehouse where he conducted his research. He then reported the incident to the police, but since Nasser was watching him, Yahia canceled his intention as he was afraid of being killed by Nasser. From that day on, he was determined to take revenge in another way, with his own hands. Yahia then built a giant Mosa robot using the inherited money from his father. For many days, he locked himself in the warehouse to make the robot, and after a long process, Musa, the robot, was finally completed. He then went in search of Nasser and his gang and followed them to their base in an abandoned building. With all his courage, Yahia showed himself, then went to hide somewhere. Nasser then ordered his men to hunt him down, but they couldn't find his hiding place. Elsewhere, Yahia activated his VR, and the robot Musa that he kept under his car came out. In no time, two of Nasser's men were easily killed. Next, it was Nasser's turn to be killed. Seeing how terrible the robot Musa was, Nasser then tried to escape, but his efforts were in vain because Musa immediately hit him with a wood until he fainted. Nasser was then locked in a car. Then Yahia ordered Musa to kill him in the same way he killed his father. The incident was recorded by a Bajai driver who happened to be passing by, and in an instant the video went viral on YouTube, gaining hundreds of millions of views. Not only on YouTube, the video also spread to many social media and news media. Meanwhile, the Egyptian government is taking this case very seriously, as the robot could attack again and endanger human lives. Military officials and officials were invited to a meeting, as well as Dr. Ferris, the head of robotics, who was asked to conduct an investigation. Meanwhile at the warehouse, Yahia received a mysterious message from someone who claimed to be an old friend, and we will refer to him as X. X knew that Yahia had created Musa, and he said he was ready to help him if needed. A few moments later, Rika came to see Yahia. Rika apparently already knew that Yahia was the creator of the robot, because Rika accidentally found Yahia's sketchbook that was left behind in the classroom, and it contained a sketch of the design of the Musa robot. Yahia, 
who believed in her, then showed her the Musa robot that he had hidden under a storeroom that could only be entered through a secret locked door. Rika then asked if the robot was made to avenge his father, and Yahia replied that the goal was not only to avenge his father, but also to avenge the world. Yahia intends to kill the criminals who have caused trouble, and he has received an address of the next criminal to be eliminated, from the X. The place is the headquarters of weapons and drug dealers, and even kidnappers of children who then take their organs to be sold to the rich. Right away, Yahia and Rika went to the address, and Musa was released and proceeded to kill the bad guys. The large number of members of the gang and their various firearms made it difficult for Yahia to control Musa. In the end, Musa was hit by shots and explosions, which resulted in Yahia also being affected, but fortunately Musa was still able to stand up and managed to finish off all those enemies, and Yahia was finally able to rescue all the children who had been kidnapped. Again, the incident was tracked down by the government, and they immediately mobilized a team to investigate the kidnapping scene. As many as 20 high-profile criminals were killed, and some of them were hanged by Musa. Everyone is wondering who is controlling Musa the robot, and for what purposes. In the following days, Yahya continued to fight crime using his robot, and this certainly eased the work of the police, such as stopping fugitive cars, capturing armed groups, and even saving children from fires and accidents. Musa's actions were so amazing that the Egyptians considered him a hero and an idol. Meanwhile at his home, Ferris managed to get a lot of facts obtained from various locations of the incident, such as the height of the robot, it can be controlled remotely, and is always transported by a car every time it carries out its actions and others. He eventually created a device that could turn off the robot's power from a short distance. One day, at Rika's house, which is now Yahia's new base, a girl named Miriam came to see Yahia. Miriam is a girl that Yahia has had a crush on for a long time, but due to his introverted nature, he has always avoided her. When Miriam found out that Yahia was the one behind the robot Musa, instead of admiring him, Miriam was disappointed in him. According to her, this is not a good solution to deal with the crime, and it will certainly endanger Yahia's life. It turned out, Miriam also harbored feelings for Yahia since the first time she saw him on campus, but her love for Yahia had now turned into hatred, and finally she walked away from him. Meanwhile, Ferris and the investigation team managed to track down Sala's car that Yahia was using. The troops were then mobilized to raid his house, and they were both arrested. Yahia was then taken into custody and forced to admit that he was the one who created the robot Musa. However, Yahia pretended that he didn't know what Ferris was referring to. After all, there was no evidence or record of the robot in his father's house. A short while later, a lawyer arrived ready to help Yahia and oversee the interrogation. Since there was no evidence and Yahia had no criminal record, he was released, but Ferris and his team had installed hidden microphones in Saleh's house. In the evening, Ferris' son, Yusef, suddenly fainted, as it turned out that he had a dangerous disease that could not be treated by doctors in Egypt. So the doctor advised Ferris to operate on his son in Germany, which would cost three billion. Ferris, who didn't have that much money, decided to treat Yusuf as best he could. Afterwards, Ferris met Samir, the head of the team investigating the Mausa robot case, who turned out to be Miriam's father. Ferris went there to make a deal with Samir. He knew that Samir wanted the Musa robot and Ferris promised to arrest him immediately, but he asked for money in return for his son's treatment in Germany. Ferris began to execute his strategy. He asked some of his men to pretend to hijack the train. He then recorded the incident and then spread the video to lure Yahia to move his Musa robot. The method turned out to be successful. As usual, Yahia would ask Rika to drive the car, and he would then control Musa. Just as the lock on the train car was released, Musa finally arrived. But Ferris' men immediately activated the device to turn off Musa's power. Without wasting any time, Ferris' men began to strip off Musa's body parts, and luckily a little boy who idolized Musa suddenly grabbed the device and Musa finally reactivated. Three of Ferris' men were overthrown and all passengers were asked to immediately get across to a safe carriage. Meanwhile, Musa would hold up the train car, 
but something catastrophic happened. A machinist and a passenger were killed in the incident. When he got home, Yahia saw a CD, and when he played it, it contained a video of Miriam's abduction. And this, of course, was Ferris doing as a way to make Yahia come to him if he wanted Miriam's life to be saved. He then went to Miriam's father, Samir, who was surprised to learn that Ferris had dared to kidnap his daughter in order to lure Yahia. Yahia, who did not want this situation to get worse and cause casualties, like the previous train incident, finally made a video confession and the video was then widely shared, and Yahia admitted that he was the creator of the robot Musa, and he also apologized for all the mess he had made and gave his residential address. The scene then switches back to the first scene of the beginning of this movie, when the special forces raid Yahia's house. Yahia indeed intends to destroy Musa, and after that he will go to see Ferris. As soon as they arrived at the location, Ferris' men immediately arrested Yahia. When Ferris heard all of Yahia's stories, Ferris became very upset because Yahia wanted to make himself a role model for young people, and he thought he could change the world. A few moments later, Ferris received information that the Musa robot had been blown up. Miriam was finally released because Yahia promised to give Ferris the Musa robot blueprint, but it turned out that it was just Yahia's trick to buy time, because X and his dark web friends had arrived at the location and they managed to knock out all of Ferris' men using sleeping smoke. The dark web members then turned off the electricity and planted bombs around the building, while Ferris, who knew this was Yahia and his gang's doing, finally managed to escape from there. Unfortunately, Yahia couldn't just run away, because there were still two of Ferris' men chasing him. Yahia then erased the picture of Musa's design that he had drawn on the wall. Knowing he would die from the explosion, Yahia then called Miriam to express his feelings that all this time he really loved her. As per Yahida's message, Rika then immediately took Miriam away from there when the situation became chaotic. Yahia also sent her a letter containing his last messages to Miriam. He asked Miriam to take good care of herself. Yahia also said that good people should not be silent because it will make bad people think what they do is the right thing. Elsewhere, Ferris is finally arrested for acting without government permission and has harmed many people, killed civilians, and even kidnapped his boss's daughter. The movie closes with a scene showing Yahia still alive and being saved by X, his dark web friend. Meanwhile, at the site of the explosion, at Yahia's base, a mysterious man in hoodie finds the core machine part of Musa's robot. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.